to revisit previous inductees. Icon Laurie Nash The son of a leading Australian rules footballer of the early 20th century, Laurie Nash was a star sportsman. He made his mark in the 1930s in a tough era for football. Obviously a period during the Great Depression he was um, a, a hero for many people who followed the game. Following the family's relocation from Victoria to Tasmania, he quickly made a name for himself both as a footballer and a cricketer, becoming one of the earliest professional club cricketers in Australia, making his test debut in 1932, and one of the first fully professional Australian rules footballers. He became essentially the first professional footballer. You know, that was his job, to be a footballer, and then subsequently he was coaching and doing that for a living. Through the period of his early upbringing, he was seen as a very good sports person, football and cricket, as in the tradition of the time. And then he moved to Tasmania and had the opportunity to be recruited by the famous Roy Kazali into the City Football Club in Launceston. Nash played three exceptional seasons with City from 1930 to 1932, winning two premierships and two NTFA Best and Fairest Awards. Later, he found great fame with South Melbourne during the 1930s as a high-flying centre-half forward, winning the team's goal-kicking award. Here's the only known footage of South legend Laurie Nash kicking goalward in the general direction of the track to his opponent Murray Sheehan. There was great expectation that he would help bring success to South Melbourne and they defeated Richmond in the grand final and it was a great triumph, Nash being the best on ground at a young age in that game. This highly decorated player finally retired in 1945, going on to coach in the Victorian country competition before returning to coach South Melbourne in 1953. Famously uh, in the mid-30s he represented Victoria and played uh, at centre-half back for the first quarter of a game against South Australia who were obviously the other strong state in Australian football at that time. And he kicked two goals in the first quarter but the Victorian full forward was injured and had to leave the ground so they threw Nash to full forward and he proceeded to kick a further 16 goals in the game so he kicked a record 18 goals. Laurie Nash is a member of the Tasmanian, Sydney and City South teams of the century and truly is an icon of our great game. He was very um, clear that he felt that his exploits were significant and there's no doubt that some of the great uh, football commentators of the time uh, some of the great footballers of all time have recognised that he was playing at a level that was above and beyond other footballers at that time. Yeah, well, Laurie Nash, by his own admission, was the best footballer he's ever seen. This is a famous incident in his life. He was asked, who's the best footballer you've ever seen? And he said, I see him every morning in the mirror. Asked why he might not have um, achieved Brownlow medal status, Laurie Nash was even quoted as saying, I was never the best and fairest, but I reckon I might have been the worst and the dirtiest. I played it hard and tough. Nash follows up with a hefty bump on a Tiger defender and eventually wins the ball back. This passage of play resulted in a violent flare-up. Be 